Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with me, Shostly Mimi, where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they heart. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, you're training back on this day how your faves turned up for the power oil dinner. Yeah. So, power oil, they posted it again. It's kind of a throwback on how it all happened and how your faves represented. Did you cite your fave there? Yeah or nah? Anyways, I already just tell you guys on how this power oil thing went, right? It happened on Monday and trust me, I know they always waste time to give the gist. Meanwhile, power oil posted this time and said, we hosted the BB Niger All Stars on Monday and it brought us immense excitement. Huge thanks to everyone who attended and those who closely followed our Instagram stories and live updates. Hashtag Power Oil, hashtag BBN, hashtag Power Oil. By the way, it's until next time for Power Oil, right? Until the next BB Niger season. Meanwhile, they send out their special congratulations to the female housemates who won the debate season. Team Green, who cooked their meals out of the Park and cross boss TK, who got rewarded as the most active housemaid during the BBN power oil tax. I already also just told you guys about this, it is not just new, but they actually posted it. Then I am bringing it to your doorstep. So, congratulations to Cross once again as he was awarded the most active housemate during the tax. I think he deserves it, right? I think he's a win deserving winning for him. Talking about Cross, he tweeted and said, the lifestyle calls, now you know no say. You know, that was how he put his full stop. The lifestyle calls, now you know no say. Now anybody will get sense, go understand this particular tweet. You know, I keep saying this thing here. Yeah. Like I keep saying that there is a whole lot to this celebrity lifestyle thinking. It is more than you seeing your faves, taking picture and all of that. There is indeed a whole lot. And when you hear some of your faves who are real, telling you guys, just no saying so it be. So, Erika threw a question on Twitter. Actually, Erika deactivated her Instagram and she said she's just focusing on Twitter for now. So she said, I noticed a lot of people are not doing fine. What is wrong? And then somebody replied and said, they are choking. Fina, their oxygen is leaving them for the UK. <laughs> this reply funny, actually. It's so, so, so funny. Meanwhile, for Erika to have asked this, <clears throat> you should know what's up. And somebody replied and said, you guys stop doing giveaway. And look at her reply. It is this reply. She said, we too are going through it. But we have to package because we are celebrities. This is me bringing you back to what Cross just said. Say the lifestyle no easy. Now you will not know, say you know easy. Like that lifestyle, now if you know, you know. The celebrities, they are going through a lot. That's why sometimes I said, some of you all have this money more than your faith. But that one is a story for another day. Anyways, I'm um, coming from Liqua Rose. Liqua Rose said, one will keep to themselves, bottle a lot inside, still come on social media to just to refresh, doing what they love. People will criticize, abuse, insult, talk down on them. One will open with whatever they are going through to get help, consign or whatever. People will bash, throw, condemn them with trolls. That is, condemn them with words. And she said, rest in peace, all our dips. Yeah. Yes, Likoros had to speak up because actually, again, yet again, we lost one of our upcoming um, rapper, you know, Ola Dips, just like that. So we saw some funny tweets and all of that. Again, the guy don't go. Just like the other one that happened to Mobad. So things are really happening. We see these people as celebrities. We do not know what they go through. For Likoros to come up here to write what she's writing, she too is having her own fair share of how people come, bant and say things to her. You understand? So that's last, all of us, now human being we be. These celebrities that you're seeing there, 
they are human beings like you. They have blood flowing on their veins. So they are human beings. We need to take it easy on them. Anyways, Ferry Bemi replied and said, Now so I did see negative comments for Likoro's TikTok anytime I check her page. So Mumu will ask her to change that step and do better. I know this isn't related, but please do better. If you don't like a celebrity or their music or what they do, just move on or face front. Peace. My dear, you just said it's not related. It is fully related to what Likoro is saying it is fully related because if you read what she just wrote there she said people would come because of course social media is where people come display do what they love just to pass out time but yes people will come trolling come saying some ill words to those people and you think they are not human being anyways moving on kimopra said i don't like the power some people have over me <laughs> when she posted this people were like who is that person who has the power over you are you just trying to tell us that maybe your guy man tell you make you not do something that you wanted to do you know they started teasing her and all of that and of course the teasing they are in a way trying to put cross in the matter you see one thing is that this baby and once they know you with sheep everything will be related to your sheep and somebody told her use your art of course you know they are referring to cross and then she replied and said leave me alone you know sometimes these celebrities they would have something bothering them in their mind they would just come out on, to tweet it or say it out loud then this is coming from Urel, the drama queen <laughs> Urel said <clears throat> be are my fans when I know they see house to buy for me, maybe I would tie rapper and run around Todd Menland Bridge, one leg looking up to the sky, shouting, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Oh, my sister, I reached to ask so because come on, when we are seeing the things that is happening right now is about gifting of houses and all of that. Nobody should even blame. <laughs> nobody should blame Uriel at all. Okay, I, I wanted to ask the name of her fan base. They are what Uriel stars, Abby. Are you a Uriel fan here? Please, what are you guys called? Please let remind me in the comment section. No verse, I beg. Make una buy on a fave house, so I beg it. Meanwhile, our general said. <clears throat> going back to my pre big brother travel schedules in 2024 it is about time and then he said again zanzibar done and dusted bora bora i am coming so it may seem as though pere is gonna be traveling yet again me i can't wait for him to travel because he's travel to um what was it called to zanzibar was quite fun do you know why i said it is fun he was giving us back-to-back -back updates like there is nothing like you travel you know you'll be posting things like we they see what we they relate to it uh, pere is actually giving us i see they hurt you know giving us the gist on his activities in um tanzania so i can't wait for him to go to bora bora so that we will get gist again to talk about get a point so continue the general we are all ready for your traveling schedules and whatever and everything you have for us so guys hey this is the main gist the actual gist of this video guys others now just follow come so tolani batch posted her picture you know showcasing every every and we all know recently if there is something that has been going on on the social space one of the hot topics on the social space is ille Bae's dress sense right so tolani batch posted this clothes on her revealing clothes you know as similar to what the gen z body was putting on on her worry gig you know that stirred the social space and people are like wait these people would act like Ile Baye is not setting trend for them. The last time was Ile Baye dressed to, where did they travel to again? You know, that um, they went and then um, this lady, Uriel, said that um, she bought the boots because of she saw it on Ile Baye. Now, people actually have been coming for Ile Baye back to back because of her dress sense. Right now, Tolani Baj is putting on the same thing. And now, that is not just it. People are like, okay, fine. That means Ile Baye is, set is setting trend for them because whatever she wears, you end up seeing them copy her. And now people are like, so why are people not coming for Tolani Baj just like they were coming for Baye? That it is obvious that they never liked that girl. So hence they have been becoming for a labor. So people have been saying it all out that oh, you guys should just tell us pop and plain that you guys don't want Ilebaye. You guys don't like her and we understand. Because why are you guys keeping quiet on Tolani Badge? Let's see some of it. As um, Suleiman said, Una might no go touch ground. Seeing love emoji. Ile Baye the air, you all breathe. So they do not find it funny because, guys, guess what? It's been Ile Baye's dress since, since 
when did they go for that gig? Was it on Sunday? All through this week, it's been about her dress sense. And we all know how serious that is, that even the tribe, people from the tribe are also calling her out regarding that. So Taiwo Esther said, so if it was buying now, you people will be crying, hypocrisy. They will not start saying who wore it better. <laughs> Where is the hypocrite that we're crying because of Ile Baye? Last, last. You all will be fine. Anyways, I understand the Baye tribe that are actually ranting because of this. Because her, Omo, the call out no be here. But they are not dragging her if it was Baye. Nko, Tolani, my niece boundaries as I wait for the PDFC to come and cry under this post in the name of if na Baye, una go talk. In as much as I know that, yes, people look for things to come for, some, for her because of her wins, yes. But that at the same time, that her clothes, the one that is quite revealing, exactly what Tolani Badge was wearing was what she wore to that uh, club, right? Exactly. And Tolani Badge is also not putting on bra on this one. She is showing her bare chest there. Now I believe Baye is just haters. This same dress, you guys guys dragged by a with and now it is hurt so it's hurt now because it's, it isn't by a it's okay now everybody go do all right last last he lay by a the trendsetter even og don't want to be left out but they are not dragging her if it was Baye. So this is what has been ringing on the social space. People have been saying, oh, justice for Baye. You people are just doing this thing to this young girl because of you people do not like that she won the show. Blah, 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 blah. But me, what I, what, all I have to say is this year. What is right is right though, you get. But it is what it is. I'm not saying that the, the people who are coming for Tolani Baj are, are not right. It's okay to say oh you guys are showing her love and life but guess what there are still people who will call her out and the reason why the one them Tolani Bajo oh, will not be that um noticeable is because the star power Ile Baye has is quite bigger than hers I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say that is just on a pearl anyways guys I'll be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later in all you do make sure you're having a great day and do not forget to always put smile on that beautiful faces of yours bye for now guys <laughs>